So, quick summary. How about your movie? As Above, So Below is... Uh, Sorry, can I do that again? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so real quick, uh, a little brief summary about your movie for those who haven't had a chance to see your trailer. Okay, well, As Above, So Below is a horror film set in the Paris catacombs, which is a, a system of tunnels that spans 200 miles with uh, 6 million corpses in it. And uh, yeah, we have six characters that are in search of a lost relic uh, underneath the streets of Paris, and as they get deeper, they start to experience elements of their own past coming back and uh, you know things from their own mind and their their deepest secrets come back to haunt them and so it's a very personalized supernatural horror film so a good part of it is playing with their minds very yeah. much yeah absolutely it's it's you know it's almost in a weird way it's almost like a parable of therapy like the deeper you go the weirder and the more <laughs> like upsetting the things you find especially the scene with the piano Yes, the piano is very much from one of the characters' past, and that's where we start to realize that it's not just uh, it's not just a strange place that's creepy. It's actually coming after them in a very personal, personal psychological sort of way. Yeah, we realized early on that what's scary down like when you're down there, it's scary. But then if you put a monster or something, like you're like, ah, eh, it's a monster, it's stupid. But what's scary down there is when you find something that you're like, a telephone shouldn't be here. You know what I mean? Like, or a phone ringing, or a a piano, like, that shouldn't be down here. And those are the things that I, I think are the most unnerving down there. So um, how much, how deep did you go in to start your, as you were doing your research? More than the average? Yeah, how deep, physically speaking? I mean, we, God, we, we explored, you know, for four or five weeks before we shot, we basically explored every system of the catacombs, and then we were shooting for six weeks. So we spent you know, quite a bit of time underground, and uh, we were like mole people at the end of this thing. Yeah, we went uh, uh, six, seven stories underground, like straight down um, into the catacombs, like, you know, like under the subways, under the sewers, like we were really, really deep. And, uh, and we yeah. were the first production ever to shoot in the, uh, in the, uh, what do you call them? Off limits areas. Off limits yeah. areas of the catacombs. Yeah, yeah, and even the public areas of the catacombs were the first production to shoot there. So we, we had a, a very difficult time getting permits, but the... Uh, the, the Parisian city officials were, were kind to us in the end and, and allowed us to shoot there, and I think they're happy with it. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning, was there something that made you maybe reconsider, like, maybe this is not a good <laughs> idea, but then you're like, okay, the other one's convincing the other. Was there anything? Well, the first time we went down there, I started sort of freaking, like, you know, we were, we were about a half a mile from the nearest exit, and the nearest exit was, like, just a little, like, raccoon hole. And, uh, and... I mean, it just there was a moment of like, oh my God, I'm gonna lose it, and, uh, and thankfully I held it together, and we just kept going until we got used to it. But yeah, there was a moment there where I was thinking like, I can't do this. Yeah, there are location scouts. We realized it was gonna be a very physically challenging movie, and you know, our our concern was you know, after our first scout, we're like the actors are gonna hate this. <laughs> they yeah. are not going to enjoy this at all. So we we went to great lengths to prepare the actors for you know what this was going to really be like so they weren't you know on day three just packing their bags and going home and um you know but we did have one actor who was legitimately you know claustrophobic and he um he did not love it he was a he was a trooper but he was he was struggling the whole time that would probably be me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay and how much of the movie did you get to film underground uh we shot about one week uh in paris like uh, outside and then we shot the rest of it like underground in the in the catacombs. I mean, we, we were five weeks shooting down there. Yeah. Any creepy like incidents? I mean, there was a lot of creepy. We we actually created a lot of the creepy. I think we we really uh, we had a good sense of what our sound design was gonna feel like at the end of the movie. So we like to you know bring big speakers down there and play these insane choirs and these big loud Tibetan horns and everything for the actors to kind of feel like they're actually in the, in the movie and in the kind of finished scene of the movie so we like to just crank sound on there which the sound travels like you wouldn't believe through these corridors and so we like to kind of orchestrate a lot of these uh, you know kind of finished product moments yeah. you mentioned that you kind of prepped the cast how did you go about so that they wouldn't run away <laughs> well we asked everyone uh, before hiring them both cast and crew if they had claustrophobic uh, issues you know because I mean that was a real thing and then we did our, uh, our uh, we did kind of a, a camera test. We called it 
but we brought everyone who was going to be on the film, both cast and crew, to shoot like the actors in their wardrobe. And uh, that was really, you know, we didn't tell anyone, but that was really to make sure nobody was going to lose it. And uh, we realized, oh, there's that one guy uh, might have some issues down here. But, uh, but he was a trooper. So is there possible to be a second one, or? It's possible. It's, it's possible. possible. Hopefully, you know, it does well enough to warrant a second one. We'd love to do one, and I think Legendary would really like to do one too. And uh, yeah, it's very possible. Great. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. Nice to